Well, thank you. The man accused in the death of 14-year-old Dominique Allen has been found guilty. Yeah, that verdict came down late last night for William Golston. Eyewitness News reporter Carrie Klein is live downtown with reaction from the victim's family. Carrie. Yeah, good morning, Julia and Naomi. It was a long running, hard fought battle, more than a year in the making for a family, but they finally got their prayers answered last night. Let's take a look at that celebration. A lot of joy and a lot of happy tears just after that guilty verdict came down. The trial lasted three days, but reaching that verdict took less than five hours. Prosecutors argue that William Golston kidnapped Ben Davis freshman Dominique Allen back in August. August of 2014. Then he killed the 15 year old and burned her body in an attempt to destroy the evidence. She was found outside an abandoned house near Golston's last known address. Police also found DNA. Detectives say that was key in convincing the jury of Golston's guilt. Family members say they never stopped hoping and praying for this day. It's a sigh of relief that we feel because now we know that justice has been done. We got another violent person off, off the, the streets. streets. We got what we have worked so hard for. She's looking down on us right now and she's smiling. Detectives and prosecutors also breathing a sigh of relief, calling this not only a professional victory, but many of them parents also consider this a personal success, haunted by the violence of someone intentionally taking out a, a, a teenager. Now, Golston will be back in court sentenced for Dominique Allen's murder on April the 15th, and you can rest assured her family will be there as well, front and center, to watch his fate. Reporting live from downtown outside the Marion County Courthouse. Carrie Klein, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.